Montana 3120RL. So we've just only taken the walls down and loosened some of that stuff up. Um, we have a it, in command unit that we're going to put on the roof. Then we have the vac which we're going to put over there on the other side. The outlet will go on the roof or somewhere adjacent to this general vicinity. The factory Jamboni 300 watt and controller will be coming out completely. Factory Brett battery, I can keep my tongue from being tied, is right here. Tiny little guy is coming out. I have to do some reworking in all of this. Uh, it had a uh, it has a residential fridge, and we will be removing all of that for all of the switch, and then the positive and negative go up to there. Be taking all that out, um, revisiting all of this because it just doesn't look like it's uh, spread out enough. There should be more. Um, more fuses, circuit breakers, something. You shouldn't have like four things on a single post. Um, and then off of this post, you have two additional 30 amp break uh, what we call them? fuses. Um, the way the wiring is, is a little wonky. The way that it literally comes off of the battery, goes over to that post right there in the middle of the screen, the one on the left. And then it bridges bridges and goes over to that one and then goes through that and then one leg goes up to the jacks which pretty sure that is a 50 amp and then the other side of it goes and powers the rig so you're allowing the entire rv 12 volt and jacks to be choked by a 50 amp circuit breaker so we're gonna get in there and address that um, and the ground as well it's not been um, what do you call it ground out it's just not grounded properly uh, get in there and get that wrapped up fixed up um, take you know this side and the T fuse and all of that going up all of that will come out um, the that um, hydraulic pump will be on its own separate like a 100 amp circuit breaker uh, let's see what else where's the frame ground I don't even know where this one goes oh yeah right here so we come off of the battery bank and go up to the frame ground which is right there it's not been ground uh, the ground for the Hydraulics is right there beside it. Hasn't been ground down. Those are just not proper grounds. Um, anyhow, we're just going to get in here and clean some things up. Oh, where is this? Okay, so the gen has been disabled, which is fine. Because, uh, you know, like I said, we're going to come in here and clean some things up. And then we have over here, which it's been raining off and on, so I have to do what I got to do to stay semi-dry. Uh, we have 12 little panels and four large panels, uh, dual multi-twos, dual MPPTs, uh, Serbo Touch 70. Uh, we're going to probably end up with um, inverter, inverter, MPPT, MPPT, battery bank over there and a stack rate on this side of the water bay. So we'll uh, extend the water bay and then square it off to go around the batteries and then uh, on the that wall one that probably be in plexi they have a uh, power management system in here let's we'll disable that they don't really work well with uh, inverters if it's not been integrated already from the factory um, prefer to keep it standalone anyhow um, but yeah and then uh, we'll take these guys and move them probably on the floor down over there somewhere and have all our switches and fuses kind of in this area we are going to take up to about we're about seven inches off of 
what is now aluminum, aluminum, which will be wood, go down a little bit. So this will be the same depth, and then we'll have all of our mounting stuff much beefier than the aluminum. Uh, but we'll probably take that whole aluminum. It's not even a support wall because the studs of the wall do not line up with the floor above it. So it's really kind of silly to even have it other than just to hold up the false wall to keep people out of the wiring. But that's where I kind of live. So I'll get in there, make a few changes, get some wire management done. And uh, we're doing uh, we're doing a nice system on this. Uh, it's, it's a pretty short rig. It might be 36, I believe. Build day two, did a lot of wire management last night. Tore out most of the wall, all the way down to the very last two studs to rebuild. I've got my bottom already prepped. Uh, I've already got marked off, you know, where the equipment goes. It's inverter, inverter, um, MPPTs, and then all the electrical will be right there. The, oh, let's see, transfer switch, surge, onboard surge, um, my electrical box for junctioning uh, will all go right up the middle. And then uh, over on that side will be a stack of batteries, the GC3s over on their side. So, and I did uh, get the LEDs in yesterday because it was still cloudy, just like it is now. And, uh, you know, threatening rain, but can't completely stop the job just because it's maybe going to rain. But anyhow, um, this is coming along nicely so this is day two by the end of the day today i should have all of this done all the equipment mounted hopefully have the battery bank wired and most of the dc done right here 